Hi everybody, welcome to Ask Mark, our scuba diving Q&A where I, Mark, a former diving instructor, do my very best to answer your scuba diving questions. So if you do have any questions, uh, pop them down in the comment section underneath this video or any of our uh, scuba diving magazine videos. And if you use the Ask Mark hashtag in your comment, you get yourself and your question featured in an up and coming video, but I do type out an answer in the comment section so you do get an answer fairly soonish within a day or two uh, and you don't have to wait for the entire video to come out but today I'm answering a question from Corley about diving hoods So Cordy O'Neill asks, hi Mark, I'm looking at purchasing a new diving hood for UK diving April until October time. With no experience with hoods and a sea of them out there, which one would you recommend? Uh, P.S. This will be used with dry suits. Um, so the one that is most comfortable, really. Um, so go for a, a decent size. A five mil hood is best here in the UK during the main diving season. You'll find that most hoods will have one thickness over the head area, but then it's thinner over the face and the neck. So you'll see like a, a seven five mil hood or a five three mil hood. It means it's five mil over the main section and three mil around the neck and over the, uh, the actual face for like flexibility and comfort. I'm not a fan of bibs on hoods especially on dry suits in my experience they just end up folding up but with a wetsuit it can be tucked underneath the wetsuit and that can help to keep you warmer but if you're diving in a dry suit bibless uh, i mean i i was digging through my neoprene i i have a few hoods knocking around this i uh, i picked out because i thought it might be useful for people to uh, to, to see uh, this is a hooded vest so that's quite good to either wear by, by itself just to add some warmth over your core and integrated hood or you wear it underneath your wetsuit. Wetsuit goes over the top of this and that it means that no water is going to flush straight in through the, uh, the neck seal. So that's quite good, uh, but not for dry suits. Uh, that's not going to work for a dry suit. Um, my usual go-to hood is this one. Uh, this is a... <laughs> A, a, a modified um, Mares um, because it came with a bib and yeah just bibs it's typically you get this shiny material and it just ends up folding up on a dive which just bugs me um, and it's not creating that kind of protection most dry suits have that like warm neck neoprene but bibs aren't really long enough you, you get maybe an inch or so but as soon as you look around uh, it just pulls itself out and then you're looking and it just ends up folding up and you just kind of look a bit daft in the water so i tend to uh, modify my bibs if they are bibless and the reason why uh, i don't just get or why these ones I didn't just invest in bibless hoods is that whenever you buy a dry suit a brand new dry suit they typically come with a hood so you end up with a, a ton of hoods uh, which is a good thing because if you're making multiple dives then you don't have to put the cold wet hood on for the second dive you wear one for the first dive you then put that in your kit bag and then you pull out the second hood for dive two so you're putting on a dry hood um, but the the main reason I like this is because it's got a bit of that solus tape on top if I could and I didn't have all of these hoods and I did want to invest in a new hood I'd look at something like the waterproof I think it's just called the H1 the high-vis version because it's bright orange and it's got reflective material all over it because when you're on the surface and say your your dsmb has been stolen by a bird um the the only thing that's really sticking out is your head and if it's black no one's gonna see it unless they're right on top of you but if it's bright orange it just gives you that additional chance of being spotted um so they, they actually have bright orange on the inside of the uh, the waterproof hoods uh but on the outside all of this section is bright orange as well so it's really obvious and um, it just makes you easy to uh, to be spotted um yeah five mil thick for um uh, for the uk like main diving season april to october five mil is fine uh, if you go any thicker it, it it really muffles what you can hear 
uh, it is many a problem out of the water, obviously, but um, it just makes communications that much harder. And I find I get jaw fatigue with it as well because there's just extra, extra material and it just, yeah, I just find I get jaw fatigue. It might be just because that when I'm wearing thicker hoods, I'm in colder waters, but hey, yeah, I just find my, my cheeks hurt after diving thicker hoods. Otherwise, vents definitely most hoods have vents nowadays uh the um the waterproof ones are really obvious they um they put all this extra um like detailing into it but on the inside does it look like on here yeah, you might be able to see that on the inside of hoods at the top you have little holes or you should have little holes and that's because what you do is you tuck your mask underneath the seal. Um, otherwise, yeah, your mask is just going to continually leak. So the leak goes against your um, your face, and then you just pull the hood over the top of the mask. But if you clear your mask, then any gas that comes out underneath that seal is going to end up inside of your hood. You're not really going to notice that until the the end of the dive when you go to ascend and that gas wants to expand and if there's no hole to vent out of then your hood just inflates on top of your head so that's why we have vents at the top and i can't remember the last time i saw a hood that didn't have a vent uh, a, a scuba diving hood so um so i wouldn't worry too much just double check that it's there um on like this one for example they're just holes um, but there will be two layers and the holes will be like offset so that water can't just flush straight in. Um, but it allows any gas to find its way out into that middle section, just bubble out of the top of the hood. Uh, so you don't look like Megamind or something. Another thing, uh, my newest hood is a, a bear hood, B-A-R-E, and this has a new lining in it. I haven't actually managed to, uh, to use this yet, but this is, um, oh, I forget the name of it, um, but it, it has um, like special reflective material, so it reflects heat and keeps it um, sort of in your head instead of like trying to go through the uh, the material. But um, yeah, I've got to test that out. And yeah, I'm, I haven't quite yet committed to, um, uh, to cutting the bib off yet because as far as bibs go, this is quite good because it's nice and long. So if you're diving it with a, a wetsuit, you have lots of overlap. So even if you do move and turn and move your head, it's not gonna pull the bib out from underneath and that's then flapping up. So um, yeah, but otherwise, yeah, five mil is fine. You can get some that have like fancy zippers to um, to make it a bit easier to, uh, to pull on and off. Uh, but then once it's on, you pull the zipper closed and it, it sort of holds you in that much better. Um, I, tend to prefer hoods that are a little oversized just so it's pr easier to, uh, to pull on and off but otherwise yeah you, you can get them for uh, for full face masks as well it has the the ceiling surface on the outside as well as on the inside um otherwise yeah just just a good five mil hood will be all you really need and if you can invest in two if you're making multiple dives on a single day yeah hoods are um uh, an essential piece of equipment i remember one dive and um and my students was very very nervous and um and they they they, they were worried about their run their mask skill and it was just like me, my dive master and the student, and they, they wanted to just practice in, uh, there was this really shallow platform that you could stand up on. And uh, it's like, oh, can I just practice it here? And I was like, oh, you don't even have your like gloves and hood. Uh, he's like, oh, I, I, I didn't want it because just like the, the additional like stuff. So I was like, okay, fine. Uh, it's gonna be cold though. And he put his head under the water and was like, oh no, it's too cold. I was like, oh, at this point, it was like, I just, 
Put mine on. Let's let's just see if you can like do it in uh, in shallow water before we go into uh, into deeper waters. And um, uh, and they couldn't they couldn't deal with the the water rounds. Like that's fine because as soon as I put my head under the water without a hood, it's just that instant ice cream headache. They make a huge difference um, diving um, like here in the UK. So um, yeah, it's worth investing in a good hood. But yeah, five mil is a good all rounder, and it should do you for pretty much up to October time. Um, I mean, I, I was diving like seven mil and I think I also had my five mil up in um, uh, up in Norway. So yeah, you should be okay with uh, with five mil as long as it fits you um, decent enough. Um, but yeah, with, with a dry suit, bibless, just cause I'm not a huge fan of, uh, of bibs. It, if you're buying a new dry suit and it comes with one that does have a bib, at least try it out first. Just see how it does tuck into that like neck, uh, that warm neck system. Uh, in my experience, it never really stays there, so I just end up cutting them off. But um, yeah, yeah, five mil bibless hood. And if you are investing in a dry suit, they typically come with them, uh, but you don't get a choice of size, which is the uh, the tough part. It just comes with a size appropriate. So if you buy a large dry suit, it typically comes with a large hood. Um, you, you don't really get a choice, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, that would be my recommendation. And the brighter, the better. Um, just so that if it is bright orange, it really stands out on the uh, on the surface. Um, I, I wish that some of my hoods could have been brighter colors, but they, they didn't exist when I was buying the hoods or at least buying the dry suits that the hoods came with. Um, but yeah, any other scuba diving questions, by all means, pop them down in the comment section underneath this video. Use the Ask Mark hashtag to get yourself and your question featured in an up and coming video. Uh, remember to head over to our website, scubadivermag.com subscribe to the channel do all those good social media things thank you for watching everybody and of course safe diving